What's going on, everybody? Federer here from 3D Print SOS. Welcome back to the channel. If the background's looking a little grim, well, I'm doing a little bit of construction down here in the studio, making things look a little bit better for these videos for this channel. So please bear with me on that front. But I still wanted to bring you an interesting video. And today we have the Creality Spider uh, Hotan Kit Pro. This is the actual third version of their Hotan, and I think they've addressed almost all the problems that I had with the original Spider. So I want to take it down to the table, uh, unbox it, show you what it comes with, uh, go over all the features, how they fixed everything, what they addressed, what they didn't address, and uh, let you guys know if this thing is worth your time and your money. All right, so let's flip the camera around, and I'll see you down there at the table. All right, so let's unbox this thing, and let's see what it's all about. I actually did notice that it's quite difficult to open this box, uh, but it is packaged really, really well. There we go. All right, so here's how it comes. It has a lovely red color. I actually think it's nice that they uh, kept it red uh, because the original Creality hot ends were red and they're kind of iconic in that sense. Uh, but as you can see, it has this open structure, nice CNC machining. Uh, it feels very, very high quality just in the hand. The materials feel really nice. One of the things to note is it has a V6 style clamp style uh, attachment point at the top. It also has a standard Creality style attachment point right in the middle. And then when you take off the top here, it has the top mount as well. So this thing is very, very versatile in the sense that it could be attached to most likely almost every single machine that accepts non-proprietary hot ends. So that's really nice. It has a nice little sock down here. When we remove that, we see an etched uh, block. This is a proprietary block, but it, it is weighted, it's coated. It feels very, very high quality. Let's keep uh, digging in. One of the problems on the original was this, the nozzle. And in this case, uh, this is a regular size nozzle, and this one is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. The reason why I mention that is because I noticed that when further unboxing, we see that there's an extra nozzle in here, and it is a 0.8 millimeter nozzle, which is really nice. Not only do you get a second nozzle, but you get to try out a different size. So if you had a larger machine, this would be perfect for it. You can print a little bit faster, a little bit lower resolution, but uh, it's definitely worth a trade-off. So as we keep going, we find some more uh, lovely goodies here. We have an entire little kit of tools, some extra hardware. We have a sleeve for a thermistor. If you want to use the existing one on your uh, machine, you have thermal grease that will help with that. Everything you need should be in here, including a direct drive style attachment point. Yet again, just giving you more ways to install this onto your machine. One of the other things that it comes with is an entire new thermistor. And this one is a cartridge style. Uh, that fits right in here. And it's worth noting that this has actually two points of uh, keeping this where it needs to be, which is also very nice. So as we keep going, um, let me go ahead and grab some tools. It has some interesting design here on the bottom. So it has these two larger grub screws uh, that you have to remove and they kind of clamp uh, this uh, block uh, in place. Underneath of that, there are some smaller Allen keys of 1.5 millimeters. And as we get in there and loosen them, as I was saying, once we loosen them, we kind of get to see the bread and butter of this hot end. So when it comes off, it reveals the two little special hardware pieces on the bottom, and I think you get extras in the box. We have this little sleeve, I believe it's ceramic, or maybe porcelain, probably just ceramic, but it also reveals uh, this multi-material heat break. Nice little pause there uh, in between the two different types of metals to keep the heat from creeping upward uh, right before it goes to this heat sink, which is also very nice, and it is secured with its own piece of hardware here, which can be removed. Let me go ahead and assemble this back and we'll compare it to the original hot end. All right, so here is the standard version or the original version of the spider. 
And as you can see, the size difference, the length difference, and that was one of my major concerns with this uh, outside of the nozzle, is whenever you installed this hot end on something, uh, you had to redo your cooling because it wouldn't be in the same spot as the stock Creality uh, hot ends are. Uh, this one did have a removable top, uh, which is nice. So it had two ways of mounting. This has three, so it's just improved in every way. This had a nice big heavy block as well, which is cool. But its biggest downfall was this nozzle. The nozzle's proprietary. As you can see, it is longer than a standard nozzle, but shorter than a Volcano. So it's just the piece that you had to buy from Creality. And with nozzles wearing kind of often, if you're using your machine, it's just not something that was very attractive. So let's compare it to something else. For example, here is a standard Creality style hot end. This one is from an Aquila, for example. And if we compare its size, looks like it is just, just a hair uh, shorter than these uh, standard Aquila. I believe this one's actually from my Aries uh, machine, which uses the same exact hot end. But if you can tell, there we go. It looks like it's about one or two millimeters uh, lower than that of the standard uh, hot end. Here we have a, um, a Fetus Dragonfly BMS, I believe, and it looks identical in size and mounting as this hot end. But one of the other benefits is not only the different metals here used, but the different mounting solutions. Uh, and then we have here a standard V6 style. So if you keep uh, th this mount here, it is at the same exact height uh, and length as a standard V6 uh, hot end right there. They line up absolutely perfectly. So if you have a machine with, with a V6 mount, this would work. If you have a machine like this that has a standard Creality style hot end, this will work. And if you have uh, a... Um, I forgot what this is called, but the mount that uses the four separate holes, uh, this will also work. So super versatile uh, hot end and just overall feels and looks great. Like I mentioned earlier, I believe this is one of those things where if you invest the 60 or $70, I believe it, it retails for uh, to purchase this, I think this will last you a very, very long time. Um, and the fact that you can buy any nozzle that uh, you desire, well, you are good to go. I think that is a huge win and a really nice uh, high quality uh, hot end uh, for Creality. All right, let's go to the conclusion. All right, so full disclosure, this was sent to me by Per Gear, so I did not pay my own money for this hot end. However, my opinions here are my own. Uh, this was not a sponsored video in that sense. I'm not supposed to say anything specific. And I do honestly believe that this is a really high quality, at least feeling. I haven't used it yet, but at least a high quality feeling looking hot end. And I think it is extremely versatile, not only in its, in its mounting, uh, but the fact that it comes with its own uh, upgraded thermistor. It comes with thermal grease, everything that you need uh, uh, to mount this thing on many, many machines. And it looks like and feels like this is a hot end that's going to outperform a lot of other hot ends that come on machines. And I say a lot because of just its versatility in mounting. So I'm really excited to try this out. Is there something specific that you guys have questions about on this particular hot end? And uh, definitely be sure to check out the links that I'll include down in the description uh, to uh, Pergears. Uh, store on Amazon. Uh, that's where you can get this thing uh, really easily and quickly. Do not sleep on the 3D Print SOS Discord. We have lots of like-minded people in there uh, sharing uh, 3D prints, helping each other out, troubleshooting machines. It is a really fun place to be. Also, be sure to check out our Patreon for this channel. You guys help me directly uh, and uh, maybe become a YouTube member if that's something that you'd like to do. Get some extra perks for both of the latter there. And as always, well, I'll see you down in the comments. Later.